Okay. I've often wondered. Oh, I got a little pain there. Why the Lord was so hard on Moses for smacking that rock, you know? <clears throat> and I, I've come to a conclusion that it was more than likely something I call the sin factor. Um, and this is what I'm talking about. Every time you meet somebody, and every time you communicate with someone, whether we realize it or not, whether we agree with it or not, a little piece of that personality rub off uh, <coughs> onto you. Um, you've heard the term culture shock. Well, the reason why a person uh, is in awe against something, uh, an environment that he is not used to is because of he's been programmed to live here and all of a sudden he is in an environment where he knows it's near impossible to live, you know, for him. But yet others are doing it. And that's because everything around us rubs off, you know. If we were people that lived on the moon, we'd be quite different than folks that live on the earth, you know. And the folks that are poor and folks that are rich, uh, don't they? They really don't live in the same world, you know. <coughs> really don't live in the same world, and even though they're in the same world, they're not in the same world because the things that they come in contact with um, rub off on them. They're just not. The poor is not allowed a more elaborate environment such as the rich, you know. So um, the rich is more usually more educated because they can afford to be. You know? <clears throat> I think the biggest culture shock that I ever received was um, when a tornado had came through this area and it hit the, the northern part of a uh, little town called Napanee <clears throat> and my daughter lived there so I, I tried to get up there as soon as I could to see what was going on next morning I got up we went to look to see if she was okay we couldn't get a hold of her and almost the the southern part of that town was just it just like wiped out, you know. I mean, there were there were telephone uh, juice wire, the uh, electrical pole. I'll get it right in a second here. <coughs> was leaning over, and there you couldn't even go down the road, you know. And it was a very scary situation and those of you who've been in that you know exactly what I'm talking about. So <clears throat> there's no saying the birds of a feather flock together. Now the reason why they say that is because people alike like to hang around, you know. Um, a drunk always looking for another drunk to go get drunk with. Someone who smoked dope, same deal. Always looking for a partner to get high with. <coughs> Christians go to church. You know, they like to hang around together. Um, football players. Don't even get me started on that. 
you know, sports people. I mean, there's people that just live to be nothing but. It's all because of the environment that they were raised in and people that you meet. You know, folks, they like to say, well, I've met such and such a person. I've met the president. I've met the Queen of England. I've met singer of such and such and blah, 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 blah. But, you know, it seems to me like uh, some of the spirit, like, got off onto them, you know. Uh, of those people that they've met and you could almost you could talk to somebody for 10 or 15 minutes and you could tell man what where they have been in life you know people that are excuse me used to visiting uh, England uh, a couple times a month uh, they're going to be a little bit different you know I like to meet people from different places around the world because <clears throat> I just like to explore other cultures. And what I find is that everywhere you go, people, they have the same basic makeup. They all seem to have a, a basis of right and wrong. They all seem to react to situations very similar, you know. But at the same time, they're totally different in other ways than, than I am. And I, I just think that's pretty incredible because of, <coughs> it's usually because of the environment, you know, that, that they're from. And which brings me back to Moses, okay? Now when you're around, okay, wrestling matches, boxing, kung fu, fighting, and, um, Violent movies on television, bloody murder, uh, screaming, uh, sex-filled, uh, X-rated—you just name it. Just all you know. People that watch that stuff—they're different. And this is what God had. Uh, this is what the Lord had against that which Moses had did. Because, <clears throat> because of the anger and because of the position, and and I'm not saying that's that's a hundred percent of everything that it was, but I'm saying that obviously a big portion of it was that. And you know, you send your kids to church that they can become a better person. And that's why, you know. If, you, if all of your friends that you choose are liars and thieves, like to fight, they like to go to X-rated shows and greedy, <clears throat> and uh, you, you fill your life with that, and it'll grow on you. It'll get stronger, and it'll overtake you. And, and see, and this is what the Lord was trying to get across to the people when he punished Moses you know there was a statement God had to make a statement there because of the leadership position that Moses was in alrighty okay God bless thank you for joining me we'll see you again next time another great subject right here crossing the middle ministry <laughs>